just got to San Clemente and I'm so pumped because I get to ride with Dave today. Budo Dave, Ducatista, and he's wearing a dope jersey, which you can get right here. Uh, your choice of blue, gray, or pink. Dave's gonna drop some knowledge on me. We're gonna hang out, have a good time. Flock of two today out in the San Clemente trails. I was so excited to be able to get out on the trails with Dave today. He's a really great guy and he's a much better rider than I am. So when he offered to help me improve my riding game, I gladly took him up on it. Now Dave thought we should start on Car Crash Trail, which I recently did a breakdown of. And this would allow him to ride behind me and see exactly how I'm doing. Dave, it's time to get my elbows out more, so that's my focus right now. Here's the first shoot. That was out. How is that going? Good, yeah. yeah. Yeah? One thing that you could work on, starting to lean your bike more in times. You know, Joseph was telling me that the other day too, and I want to. I'm not comfortable and I need to. We'll do it down there when we get to the flat. Okay. Kind of drill it a little bit. Okay. And then you, just, you can start doing it into slower turns and. Okay. Yeah. So, elbows out. Lean the bike. Lean the bike. Look ahead. Y'all can tell I'm just talking my way through this right now. Alright. Chunk stuff. Oh, I thought I was gonna slip out on that. I thought I almost was gonna slip out on that one. <laughs> no, you were fine. You were fine Ooh. over your bike. How did that look? It looks fine. Okay. Fine. These bikes work better when they go faster. They track better, they turn better. We have to learn how to ride it and then trust it. So we focused on trusting my bike by working on my leaning in order to improve my cornering. It's more about, I mean, your hip has to come out in the turn, right? Sure. It's more about really just getting the bike leaned over. The trick for me is just to try to keep the bike going straight. Instead of having it start to turn. Yeah, it's kind of like going down this way. You have a little bit okay. of Okay, let's do it. As a warm-up game to improve my handling, I tried to keep the bike straight while leaning it instead of allowing it to turn. How is that? The bike was leaned over about 10 degrees. Just 10 degrees? Yeah, I mean, That's cool. crazy. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, the same thing, you were sort of like, your hip was going out the other way to make up the difference, you know? <laughs> it, it would just be like... So now Dave showed me how to naturally allow the bike to carve when leaning it so that I can improve my cornering. Okay, let's, let's dip around here. So. Now, I don't know about you, but some things come so much easier to me when I'm not thinking about them. And those same things are harder when I am thinking about them. Uh, you know what, maybe we can go into the street. So we headed to some flatter land, gathered up some rocks to use in place of cones, and kept practicing. Let's try that. Where do you want this right, one? Right, right, where you are. right here? Yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> We started with the rocks pretty wide apart, which was actually causing a narrow turning radius. It was actually challenging my skills of leaning the bike. Nice, there we go. Yeah. Get over the front a bit more. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Now, sometimes breaking bad habits in order to learn new ones can be so painstakingly awkward. But thankfully, Dave was such a patient and good-hearted teacher. Point the knees, point the knees more. Point the knee. <laughs> Some people say keep thinking about keeping your chin over the stem. Let's try that. Exaggerate as much as you possibly can. More than you probably need to. Okay. That works for me. Like you feel like it's way out. Yes. And then you look at the picture and it's like, you know. And it looks like I also need help in exaggerating my movements. Progress can definitely be challenging. The more you ride, the more you get into it, you realize that even the most simple things are really, really complex. Like my buddy Calvin posted on social media a picture of him cornering of all the things that you need to be doing in a corner. And it was like seven or eight things that have to be done sort of simultaneously. Looking in the corner, like not braking, you know, leading the bike, you know, getting the knees out, pointing your hip, all these things, you know, yeah. it's just like, geez, like we need to get to a point where we don't think about every one of those steps. And there's only one way to do that, right? Just through repetition. Just through repetition. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> 
that feeling of being close to the bike is where it starts to feel kind of weird. It starts to feel counterintuitive because you're right. getting closer to whatever obstacle is yeah. there, right? You know? Yeah. You know, it's funny. The Stoics say the obstacle is the way. The obstacle is the way. That's one of my favorite, favorite quotes. Yeah. So maybe I need to keep that in my head is, is the obstacle is the way yeah. to get closer to well, it. Well, you know, I've been through so many situations where I've had these enormous obstacles ahead of me and I almost kind of got used to it. I'm like, oh, there's this obstacle. That means that something great is going to come on the other side of it. True. If I work through it. If you work through it. Yeah, yeah. If you don't have the fundamentals, you can actually get kind of far. Yeah. But you'll get to a point where you just can't progress anymore. That's, you know? that's totally, you're totally describing me because yeah. now it's just like, I can't progress yeah. because I have to unlearn what I taught and myself. You basically have to like, just sort of like, I need to do these really basic things and ride slower and do all these yeah. things and where everybody is also out having fun, but yeah. it's sort of homework to do so that way you can get back and do it. Yeah. So that leads us to like, that's why I want to do this first because okay. it's going to lead us to jumping. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go to jumping. So I've done this one tw two or three times. Of all of them, it's the steepest. So with trail speed, you'll still clear it, but you can also use it to use jump technique. Jumping is essentially just weighting and unweighting the bike. You make the bike heavy so you can get traction, you make the bike light, unweighted enough, you get off the ground. I think that the body mechanics of jumping is on a bike is no different than the way you would jump in, like naturally. You're gonna preload and then you're gonna extend, your legs mm -hmm. are gonna go straight and you're right. gonna go forward. That's that's all we're doing on the bike. Like we come, we're approaching the jump, start preloading. Yeah. And then as we're coming up the lip, then we're, we're extending. It's the same thing. <laughs> your preload's like here. And then as you're coming up, then you're extending, 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 extending. And it's from right here when the rear wheel leaves, it's when you should be at the max extension. If you really want to like get a lot of vertical, you're pushing in really hard with your feet at this point. Like if you wanted to jump really hard, like, yeah. you know, you would push really hard off the ground. You don't really need to to clear it, but if you wanted to get really big height. Mark is really good at that. At popping. I've seen Mark yeah. pop and that bike comes right up to his waist. He's got yeah, a yeah. lot of great control on yeah. it. Yeah. Should we do the other ones and get to yeah. this? I say I'm ready and then my foot's not, not planted down. Elbows out. Let's see if I can practice some of this technique here. That, I almost lost it on. I got sketched on that one. I'm not gonna do this. I need to go up again. I, I almost bit it on the third one. The third one kind of sucks. Yeah, that was weird. I did the third one and I was like, boom. And I I felt like I just was sideways oh. in the air and it sketched me for this one. It's not a very smooth, like it kind of just starts ramping up pretty quick. It kind of goes with that. Let's just do the other one. Okay, let's do the other one. I cased it because I was going a bit slow, but that is really smooth. Let's do that again. Yeah, think about, again, being centered. Centered, and my arm's out. You can do a little bit of a preload. Okay. And, and a little bit of extension, just a little bit. Uh -huh. I hold my breath, and Mark caught it on one of my videos. He goes, dude, breathe through it. I hold my breath, and I'm stiff oh, in the yeah. air until the yeah, imp yeah. I'm not doing anything. Sort of like yelling in the air. Sort of like a PI. Or yeah, like yeah, a, yeah. You know, because it, it makes you relaxed. And you have to exhale. Yeah, and I found that somebody else going like, yeah, I would just say, yeah, or yeah. woo, you know? And like, that actually does a lot Okay, physically. maybe I should yell sausage. Sausage! <laughs> It did look to me like you were still a little far back. And I felt far back when I landed. See where you are? Mm -hmm. Your elbows are sort of back. Your head My is- My elbows yeah. are back. Okay. Um, and right there, you could just see where you're way back. I am behind. way back. Yeah. So I need to be more forward you on that. You need more forward, yeah. That's and great. so you're coming in fast and you just barely made <laughs> Okay, so do you see how your front wheel starts to dip? Yes. Because you're not extending at that point. Yeah. Front of the bike should continue the same arc of the jump. This reminds me of when I was with Kelly. I'm not, it felt radically different when I at least pop. Yeah. When I would pop up. Yeah. And I'm definitely not popping up yeah. here. All right, let's see if I can improve this. It's a lot of little things. It's a lot of little things. We'll see if I can do it. So standing up, arms out. Was that better? That felt way better. I did put in a little bit of extension in it. Okay, that's what it felt like. And it felt so and smooth. you looked like you were way more in control. Yeah, that felt yeah. so much smoother. Start your preload about there. Right there, it was very little. You're still a little far in the rear, it's just fine. Okay. 
But look at the path of your front wheel. It doesn't drop as You're much. Right. You know? You added oh, like, you wow. know, 18 inches of distance. Wow. Yeah, right? <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> I'm so glad you asked me to ride. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm so glad you came out. You don't mind if you film me doing because I want to see how much extension I can. Let me get you. That was awesome. <laughs> Wow. So I'm standing up so I can mm -hmm. see where I'm going. Right. Start my preload. Oh, I see. There yeah. it is. Starting Damn. to extend. I'm probably extending too early. Look yeah. at that. Yeah, but see, look, look at how far you go. Far. Yeah. All right, I'm going to have one more go Isn't at this. Isn't it interesting how you could be going so much faster and not clear it, go slower and pop higher and farther. Even audibly, it was just boom. <laughs> that's you the know? best, that's like the best sound. Yeah. All right, let's go do this. I did a mind body sync, felt myself get this. Let's go. Arms bent and uh, foot on the pedal. How was that? Your landing was so smooth. Like it felt smooth. It was quiet. Okay. Like, when it doesn't make any noise, yeah. it's just it's just it makes it smooth. It means it's smooth. You know? Okay. Because like you landed, I was like, I didn't hear a thing. <laughs> I didn't either. But, but I also held my breath, I realized. Oh you did? Okay. I felt very stiff because it wasn't until I landed that I exhaled. And that other one I did, I breathed out. Oh, okay. This was such a fun day. Dave, I can't thank you enough for dropping some knowledge on me, helping me improve my cornering and definitely my jumping game. And to the rest of you who have poured your riding wisdom into me, thank you so much. I hope all of your rides are filled with stoke. And until next time, peace and love. <laughs>